Okay, so luckily the weather held out long enough. Uh, we are now back at Pontoon Landing. Uh, this is about uh, anywhere between three to three and a half miles from where we parked the car. And a, a very cool little spot. Um, this water right here, I'm going to be a little quieter and sneak down to the edge here. See, can I see some birds out here? See what we have. But uh, this is Spring Garden Ranch Run or Spring Garden Run. Uh, if you go that direction, it takes you back down to the Leon Springs State Park. And this direction takes you out to Lake Woodruff and then eventually St. John's River. This is the furthest back you can go um, unless you want to swim. And there goes the heron. There's two of them. You can see in the ground here are a lot of snail shells. And there's a lot of the ground here is covered in these snail shells. Uh, a lot of areas you go to, the uh, the, the Indians that uh, lived here originally uh, used the snails as their main source of food, and they would just harvest them and then dump them in mounds, and there's some spots that they're 30, 40 feet high. I'm starting to be able to see my breath again. Uh, temperature's going to start dropping. And uh, it's going to probably start raining pretty soon. So I'm going to start heading back before I get soaked. Okay, so we're heading back out to the exit. And just about back to the spot where we found the uh, the fish the heron was eating. And uh, I'm going to see if we can sneak up on him. If he's still here. Or see if the fish is still there. It's a loud bird. All right, here we go. We're going up to the spot here where the uh, heron had its fish. I do not see the heron up here anymore. We'll see if he came back for his fish or if he just abandoned it completely. Or maybe somebody else came and got the fish. We won't know exactly. We won't know exactly who took the fish, but only if the fish is here. Oh, there's the heron. So it would be a pretty safe bet to say. That that fish is gone. And the heron's the one who took it. Oh no, there it is. And it's still there. Huh. Maybe it sat for too long. He interrupted his meal and he, he didn't want it again. exactly what I wanted to get. Okay. So I'm watching what may be a hawk up here in this perch. I don't know. You can see the perch, but I don't know if we can see what's up there. Oh yeah, it's a hawk. That's as close as the zoom will let me get to him. There he goes. didn't really watch to see where the hawk went. It looks like he may have landed up here in a tree. So you may get a chance to see him again. Looks pretty cold. And it is the, um, let's see if we can point it out here. Right there is the uh, Audubon Tower. So we're out on the opposite side. We, we came along the trail there and we're gonna walk right back into it.
only the second otter I've ever seen in Florida, and the first one I've seen in here. Oh, there he's over there. He's over there. All right. Well, as the otter there eats, we'll let him go. I don't want to disturb him too much. Let him have his, his food and uh, try not to upset the egret either. Come over here a little further because they do tend to get a little jumpy, uh, more so than a heron for some reason. I don't know why. Um, so um, now I guess this is the officially the end of the tour of uh, Lake Woodruff. Um, so I wasn't expecting to come across an otter. Hope you enjoyed it.